And with this heat, we've been stressing the importance of staying hydrated. The unconventional dietitian Daphne Olivier joins us virtually right now to continue our conversation. Daphne, last week we talked about hydration. Now we're talking about foods that can keep you hydrated. What do you have for viewers out there? So it's no coincidence that a lot of the things that are grown in the summer are also very hydrating. So things like cucumbers and tomatoes, um, watermelon, cantaloupe, um, some of those foods are really, really hydrating. They have a lot of water in them. So those are some easy things that are just naturally going to be better and taste better during the summer because of the amount of um, the amount of water that's in them and because this is whenever they're grown at their peak. So incorporating those into your daily routine is a good idea. And then another thing that we can do is, you know, fun frozen treats like popsicles and um, I often will recommend that people make their own popsicles at home so if you make a smoothie and there's a little bit left over you can pour that in a popsicle mold or even just some fruit juice pouring it in a popsicle mold because once it's cold and icy it's it's just tastes way different you know than whenever, yeah. whenever it's super hot outside so those are some real easy ways to start adding some things in um, of course drinking lots of water and electrolytes we've talked about that before. Yeah, and I think this is great too because we always talk about drinking water and electrolytes, but sometimes we forget that the food that we eat can also hydrate us at the same time. Yeah, so soups are another thing that are hydrating, but when it's super hot outside, nobody wants to eat a hot soup. There yeah. are some cold soups that you can have. So I've heard of and I've made cold avocado soup, which is mm. really good, or something like a gazpacho that's made with tomatoes and cucumbers. Those are both really good additions too. Yeah, Daphne, as always, you have some great advice for people at home. If people at home have a health question for you, how can they contact you? You can reach me through my uh, website. It's theunconventionaldietitian.com or through Instagram or Facebook at The Unconventional Dietitian. Daphne, as always, thank you so much for joining us virtually to share your topics with our viewers. Of course, thank you. Of course. If you at home, you want to learn more, you want to rewatch this interview, head to our website, klaf.com. There you can also find our previous hydration discussions with Daphne there. And we do have some team.